Hey everybody, in this video we are going to go check out a new trail up at Northern State. Now I've done a video up here before, but, um, and actually this uh, footage was filmed, not this footage here, but, oh yeah, it's my mocha, it was a mocha, um, granita. Anyways, um, it was filmed earlier, like last week, but I forgot to do an introduction, sorry. Anyways, stick around, we're going to check out a new trail up here. Tight, don't let go, you gotta keep trying You're this close, and it's alright You can take it slow Keep your head up high and let it We are up here at Northern State We're gonna go for a little bit of a walk I was gonna fly my drone Taking a bunch of pictures up here um, This is a section of Northern State it used to be a mental hospital. This is a section that they opened up here not too long ago to the public. This all used to be closed up. So you can see there's a bunch of bunch of buildings back here. Some back in there. I don't know if you can see those. But uh, yeah. So we're gonna take a little bit of a jaunt. There's a new trail here. My wife Kelly and I and Gus hiked it the other day came out here after she'd gotten off of work and I uh, told her let's go for a walk and she ended up classifying it as a hike I didn't think it was a hike but she did now over here we have what they call Connections Academy it used to be Job Corps um, these are part of their buildings as well this fence pretty much blocks it off everything north of that fence is all um, part of the that school um, job corps connections academy whatever they want to call it down here these are some of the older buildings uh, a lot of these buildings have are in a state of disrepair which is really too bad because they were beautiful some of these sections over here were buildings that they had actually tore down many years ago We're going to take a little bit of a trail here. Um, they've just built these trails not too long ago. Uh, a lot of it's graveled. Kind of makes a loop. Like I said, we did part of it with my wife Kelly the other day and, and the Gussinator, wherever he is. Right there, bringing up the rear like usual. Yeah. It's a beautiful day out here. It's supposed to start getting crappy tomorrow, though. But they've been saying that for a while now. Anyways, we're going to saunter on. Now I have, I think, set the white balance so that it doesn't do that fluctuating crap like I did in my last video. You know, the one about the toilet paper. If you haven't watched it, you need to watch it. So right here, I think that's it. The little white thing there, click on that. It will take you to my toilet paper pooping in the woods, how to, what was that? I'm having a senior moment here. Ration toilet paper in the back country. So like I said the other day, my wife and I came up here. Oh, yeah, you can see the old power plant for, I think, it's, I think you can see it there, the stack. Uh, that's the old power plant for the, the, um, for the hospital, for the whole campus. There's a really interesting book. It's called Under the Red Roof. It was written by a local lady. Um, the majority of the people here in Seagrove Woolley have either had a relative or they themselves worked at this hospital at one time. So it's kind of an interesting place. This is where that new trail starts, right here. Kind of goes back up in through there, runs along the creek up through there. Can't remember what the name of this creek is. But you can see there's one of the old the old buildings there. I'm not sure what that was. I think it was a pump house. 
there's a lot of old pipes and stuff that run along the creek and across the creek down here. So we're going to go ahead and hit this little trail. And I want to give a big shout out to Skagit Trail Builders here because they are the ones who have been building and maintaining this trail. And they do a lot of other, in fact, they maintain all these trails up here. This uh, area is actually owned by the Port of Skagit County here in Washington State. And uh, they've done a really good job in, in keeping this place up and, and uh, um, what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? See, I get these senior moments. I can't remember these words. Um, <laughs> yeah, the 70s were very good for me. Um, they maintain this up here and, and they, they add more trails and they, the upkeep is, is really well. So big shout out to them. Now it looks to me like they have, I think they've seeded this out in here. So this is gonna be a great place once this grass grows up and they keep it mowed down. This will be a great place to come out and just kind of lounge around. You've got the creek that runs down through here. A lot of birds, very peaceful. I was gonna set my watch to see how many miles this was, and I forgot to do that. So I have no idea how big this loop is. I'm gonna say it's probably three, three and a half miles. Rather pleasant walk. It's gonna be a lot prettier once all this stuff is grown over and the leaves are in. Now I gotta give a shout out to Luke over at Outdoor Gear Review. I have been looking for a chest pack or a fanny pack, I've tried fanny packs to carry camera gear around and to have quick access even when I'm backpacking because let's face it, those stinky little hip pockets don't do diddly, especially if you're carrying camera lenses and things like that. So Luke did a review on a chest pack, this chest pack right here, a while back and uh, they don't give them away, they're not cheap, but dang, I sure like this thing. So. Luke, if you're watching, which I hope you are, I subscribe to your channel, by the way. Hope you enjoyed the coffee. Anyways, um, they're awesome. This thing's great. I don't sweat in it. I used this on one of my videos, uh, my snowshoeing up to Artist Point. Um, I carried a bunch of camera gear and actually carried my gimbal, the Osmo, the DJI Osmo uh, Mobile 3, which is what I'm using right now. Um, it works perfectly. It's not huge. Um, and if you're a person who carries, if you know what I mean, it's, it's perfect for that. They actually have um, a holster that goes inside there. We'll just leave it at that. We have a containment unit for inside there for your carry. I tried fanny backpacks and I don't know, they're just so 70s, you know. Um, I don't wear Birkenstocks. I don't even like Birkenstocks. So, anyways, yeah. Helicopter. All right, it's probably coming from the fire. We've got a couple fires going up here already. It's flipping April for crying out loud. And we still got snow and we've got fires happening. We've got some dry winds coming in here. So hopefully this is not a thing, a sign of things to come this summer. Um, Cause Lord knows we've had enough fires in the past. Last year was nice, but it was rainy and cloudy all summer.
Anyways, as I was talking about that uh, chest pack that I'm wearing, can't remember the name of it. I will put it down in the description down below. And uh, I don't have enough subscribers yet to where I can put a link up here. But I can put a link right here to Luke's review over at Outdoor Gear Review. And if you guys have not checked out his channel, you need to. The guy has a plethora of information. I really like that word plethora. You know, kind of reminds me of the Three Amigos. What is a plethora? So we're at a junction here. Uh, we just came out from over here, which is where the trail kind of branched off. We walked up, probably up into the woods up, oh, right about there. Then you got another service road that goes up. I don't know if you can see it. It goes right up and through there. We've hiked up to that and there's actually, I think that's where the trail is actually gonna connect because it drops down into the creek. It's a nice, nice little spot there. And then you've got, get this in you've got this road here it's another service road it goes up to a couple pump stations i think they were there's a bunch of pipe work and valves up there and there's some high tension or high power cable warnings and then this road to the south heads back to the trailhead where we were at earlier so yeah so we're going to head back down that way now We're heading back to the back to the truck up here where the buildings are. I was going to try and get some drone shots today. I might try to. It's pretty windy in here right now, so it gives you kind of a. If I got those to give you kind of a scope, an idea of what these buildings are like. But we'll see what happens when we get back to the truck. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, man, it's got to stick to the face. Anyways, if you liked it, hey, subscribe. You know, subscribe and like it and all that good stuff. We're going to be doing a uh, review of chairs, sitting down things in my next video. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you come back. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and comment down below. We're all stuck in this COVID thing right now, so we're kind of limited on where we can go. Although, I did find out trails are actually open, so I might have my wife drop us off somewhere, and we'll go do a hike, like a real hike. Anyways, we'll catch you on the next one. Hold tight, don't let go, you gotta keep trying. You're this close, and it's all right, you can take it slow.